Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. My ICOM IC746 Pro used to have an external automatic antenna tuner. I forget the brand uh, name of it, I believe it was called the AH4, Alpha Hotel 4. And I used that automatic antenna tuner with its control cable, which connects to the IC746 Pro, with a vertical antenna that mounts on my deck, so that this vertical antenna, which at the time was, I believe, 25 or 27 feet high, could be tuned at the feed point on all bands 10 megahertz and up. And it worked great until something happened. Now, I always disconnect the antenna in the summertime when I'm not using it. I pull it out of the tubing and lay it on the on the deck and I also disconnect the cable from the, the coaxial feed cable to the antenna from the antenna tuner. It's a very short length of cable. But there is a control cable that's about 50 feet long that runs from that automatic antenna tuner to the IC746 Pro. And one day apparently an electromagnetic pulse probably from a thunder shower, uh, cooked the innards of that AH4 so that it wouldn't work anymore. Uh, there are four wires, I believe, in that control cable, and the cable itself is unshielded. I made the cable longer than it was originally designed by splicing in some extra length of cable, and that 50 feet of unshielded for a conductor cable evidently caught hold of enough electromagnetic pulse energy to damage or destroy one of the microchips in that automatic antenna tuner. It's not an RF actuated antenna tuner but has a, a control cable. So a separate control cable that goes to the radio separate from the coaxial cable I don't know exactly how to protect an antenna tuner like that from electromagnetic pulses. I suppose I could unplug the cable from the antenna tuner and also from the radio so that it would not be connected to either device and then if it picked up electromagnetic pulse energy it couldn't damage anything because it wasn't hooked to anything. The alternative would be to shield that entire cable in a conduit, probably a copper conduit uh, or steel conduit, preferably copper pipe. Just run that cable, which is only about an eighth of an inch, two or three millimeters in diameter, through that uh, pipe and then ground the pipe so that it would shield the cable. But something uh, like that may happen to you if you have a tuner like this uh, and if you happen to have a thunder shower in the vicinity that uh, produces a lightning strike near enough to cause an electromagnetic pulse and consequent damage to the unit. Uh, just thought I'd throw that in there that these units are vulnerable to that kind of damage and I don't know how far you can go to protect your equipment from electromagnetic pulses but I think we'd all do well as radio hams to work on protecting our equipment from that kind of damage because someday it may occur from some other source, such as an uh, atomic bomb exploded at a high altitude by some rogue kingdom in the Far East. But anyway, just a thought. Thought for the day, Sunday. 3 December 2017, nothing better to think of, so keep that in mind if you have an antenna tuner like this. Stan Gibalisco, 
W1GV saying 73. And, so long, which in my native fist, whatever kind of remote antenna tuner I may be using, will always translate to di da 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 da